All right, a uh, review of uh, Top Gun Maverick. That's Top Gun 2. I'm an 80s child. Um, I think someone said I'm I'm a Generation X. I don't know. I need to Google that later or somebody comment below. Tell me if you're born from the 80s, are you Generation X? But anyway, uh, get to the point. Shh. Look, if you haven't already heard, is the news re is the news and the hype real about Top Gun 2? Maverick, is it amazing? Is it like just lush? Is it is, is it like just uh, is it worth paying? Uh, how much did I pay? I paid 13 quid for my ticket, right? And it wasn't even an IMAX, okay? So is it worth it? Whether you follow Mark Mode or you follow other people on YouTube like Campion and all that stuff, it's true. Top Gun, like me personally, um, I love, I love the tune, right? Do, 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 do. Okay, um, and I'm glad they didn't just throw that out the way. <coughs> but I'm going to give you three things that I love about it, right? Uh, one, it was just entertaining as fuck, right? It just entertaining from the start to the beginning. Uh, and I actually uh, just was surprised because I thought it'd be a lot of... If you've seen the original one, there was a lot of... Like, even though the original one was good-ish, but this is, for me personally, a hundred times better. Mainly because um, they took what was good about the original and just injected lots of steroids in it in a sense of uh, they made the fight scenes way better obviously it's 30 odd years but everything was just so much better because you have a more of a mature maverick Tom Cruise was producing it and he just had so much passion for it and you could just tell like like it was oozing out you could just tell when it wasn't like you know like marvels after time you just kind of like understand where the beats are you kind of think in like oh god it's a repackage of that story over there you know like bit like miss marvel uh and then even dr strange even though it was like unique in its own way it was it felt repackaged or it's very felt just I'm gonna get crucified here, but Doctor Strange for me was like meh. It wasn't boring. It was just meh. I was like, all right. But Top Gun had something different. Do I mean it was something like maybe you haven't seen for a while? Actually, I don't think anyone's seen this kind of movie because the fight scenes I've never seen. I never, never like seen or felt because I'm 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 in the cinema and it's like the sounds amazing. The sounds amazing, and. Uh, I cared. Do you know what I mean? I cared about the characters. So that's number two. Uh, the characters. I really cared about Maverick. I cared about his relationship with Jennifer. I've got... Is it, is it Penny? Penny. Penny. Penny from the block. Yeah, so I cared about that. I think they have such a charming, cute... Uh, and it was just... Like... It was nice, do you know what I mean? It was nice. It, like, I felt the original Top Gun, him and the Milfy, uh I forgot from the original, the Milfy Blonde last. It was nice, it was nice, but that was, it, it was good for its time, but when I look back, it just feels a bit awkward, maybe because I'm older. Um... But Jennifer and Tom and this, Jennifer and Mav Maverick, or Penny and Maverick, just felt right, you know what I mean? They had chemistry, it felt warm, had charisma, had charm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so so uh, Miguel from the original one, she was stunning back then, uh, but she was sexy, it was hot, you know, because Tom, Tom Cruise was young at that time. But Miguel, and I think that's her name, and Tom, it... It was just kind of like, oh naughty, because uh, Tom's like sleeping with an older woman, and she's like, oh, should I sleep with a pilot? But there wasn't a charm to it. It was just sexy. Do I mean sexy? No charm. This Jennifer and Maverick, they're older. They, but they're still hot. Oh God, they're still hot. Anyone that tells me Jennifer Connelly is not hot is either blind or, or, or likes old Chinese granny that looks looks like my mum okay so but Tom Tom Cruise is just 
oh my god he 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 looks stunning for his age he I just feel the testosterone like but it, it's a balanced testosterone it's not bulky it's just a confident man right so that was good and three yes there was all these other players I loved uh, I loved the characters such as Hangman I just thought his lines were amazing and somebody out there on the internet already said it but he, he, he's a bit like a uh, uh, like if Falcon Kilmer Ice right and Maverick had uh or, 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 or did the same woman, right? And their sperm came together, and out came a baby. That would be Hangman. So I just thought that was really good. Uh, Hangman was so funny. He, he had a line. He, he said something, and it, it was like, "I'm truer than true." And just from that moment, you just thought, "Oh yeah." Tom's got this. Like Tom and the creative team behind it, because I know it's a big team. Although uh, the director always says like Tom's driving force, no doubt I can imagine. Uh, you just feel the passion, the 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 story. Like you could see, even though the storyline's basic, you could see they worked on it a lot. Um, again, I didn't find any moments that were so boring. Everything had its place, and why that was place. Uh, there wasn't no long, complicated like bike ride into a sex scene like the original which was fine which was fine you know what i mean i loved it as well but let's be honest top gun one was a bit like a big long promo of an mtv thing for music wasn't it uh but this one it's like you cared about let's say stuff like goose's son i wanted to see m like where maverick and penny went and that's tom and jennifer and uh, yeah the other actors like I just thought oh they'd be sidelined but they actually had parts where they shined uh, again like Hangman uh, and then there was this guy called Bob oh I love Bob I love Bob it was like it was this line what did, you, what did they say they went hey uh, what's your uh, it's something like what's your call sign everybody had something like Hangman or you know like Maverick I can't remember the other guys but then this guy, I totally remembered, what's your call sign, Bob? And then they went, your actual call sign? No, it's Bob. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, should you go and see it? Should you go and see Top Gun Maverick? It's its second week in England, so yes, absolutely, watch it in IMAX. I'm going to watch it in IMAX uh, again. Well, I'm going to watch a movie, because I watched it first time in the biggest screen that wasn't an IMAX in my local area. And it was great. Uh, watched it with an old, uh, an old friend. So, like, because he was he was born from the eighties. So, if anyone from the eighties that like action movies that like Top Gun, this is gonna be awesome. Um, or what else? What am I gonna say? Uh, yeah, it's just really like you. You like to conclude it. Look, I left the theater and I felt good about myself. I felt good about life. Right, I felt good about life right after leaving Top Gun Maverick. So, yes, go and see it on the bigger screen. If you have already seen it, comment below, tell me what you think, what stood out for you. If you didn't like it, that's fine, just comment below as well. Okay, talk to you soon, okay? See ya.